Monday the 27th, Memorial Day, and the moon is in Capricorn, and it'll move into Aquarius right before about 4 p.m. So we have a conjunction with Pluto. We have a bunch of trines, a lot of nice trines with Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Uranus. Beautiful, but a square with Mars. So just slow down, enjoy the holiday. When we have a square with Mars, we don't want to put the pedal to the metal, okay? Gratitude makes everything better. Things might be intense, but there's a real beauty to it. It's really lovely. Nice, nice Memorial Day if you can slow down, okay? Don't get into it with people. Tuesday the 28th, we have four planets in air signs. We have a square with Mercury and a trine still going on with Venus and Jupiter. So four planets, we have the sun in Gemini, we have the moon in Aquarius, okay? And two other planets in air signs. So we need to stay grounded. We gotta be extra careful about gossip on Tuesday the 28th. We really gotta watch our words. Okay. Wednesday, the 29th, the square with Mercury and Jupiter and Uranus. And by evening, 8 in the evening, the moon will move into Pisces. So think your own thoughts, do your own thing. All right. Aquarius during the day likes to just do whatever the heck it wants. Wednesday, the 29th. Thursday, the 30th is a good day for rest. There's kind of some push and pull energy with yourself. So just get some rest. And there's a square with Venus and Jupiter on Thursday. Friday, the 31st, creativity is going to run really high. So it's a great day to journal, to create, to dream. There's just, the moon will be conjunct Neptune and Saturn. Okay. So we can like get things done with Saturn, but Neptune wants to do it all in those dreamy creative realms. So we will have an Aries weekend as we move into June 1st and 2nd. And Saturday's a smoother day, so go for it, Aries energy, okay? And Sunday, we do have a square with Pluto, but it gives us the option of passion. Passion can run high on June 2nd. Just enjoy the passion. Keep it out of the argumentative zone with people and put it into the fun, passionate zone, right? So we have a lovely month of May. I'm excited for it all. Oh, let me pull you a few tarot cards for this week, for this Memorial Day week. Let's see what we've got here. Can only use this Beltane Oracle, you know, for April and May, really. So I'm excited to use it. And your first card is the Knight of Wands. He showed up last week. Here he is again, full speed ahead, still coming down off that Sagittarius full moon. And then we'll have that Aries weekend. He would be considered an Aries knight. All right. So there is forward moving energy. We have the Page of Wands showing up here too, which can show us some immature energy too. So don't think about what you're doing before you get your motorcycle revved up and flying forward. All right. Your oracle card is the cow and it says, may the embrace of all that is nurturing you awaken in all that you are becoming. Right. Very beautiful. And your little mini card here, everyday witch, is a page of swords. He's dropped his bags. He's got his sword. He's got some new ideas, but he's young. So remember, you're going to want to push forward, but not everything that's going to come out of your mouth this week is going to be your best choice of words. So get grounded, get clear, enjoy the beauty of the season turning into the warmer weather here in New England. Watch your words slow down a little bit, but go for the passion over the weekend of June 1st and June 2nd. I'm going to roll you some dice for this week ahead. And we've got Saturn in the sign of Capricorn in the eighth house. Okay. Well, Saturn rules the sign Capricorn. So it's like, don't forget your responsibilities. Have you done everything you need to do? An eighth house has a lot to do with your combined monies, your power. It's Scorpio energy. Okay. So make sure that your things are in order, that you've taken care of the responsibilities that you need to take and then make sure to enjoy the goof off time too. All right. Thank